I'm 24 years old. I just turned 25 this year. I am 27 years old. I'm turning 28 this year. I am 32 years old. <laughs> Why did you choose CU Medi? I chose CU Medi because it is a unique opportunity for someone from a totally different field. And here, there's the people from science and on science background. I believe that it can make me a great doctor. What do you like most about the CU Medi program? I like that we get early exposure to clinical mm -hmm. years. I really like the dynamics between classmates because we have different age and all come from different backgrounds. Hello and welcome everyone to the CU Medi Open House 2023. My name is Seri Pong Sai, an American broad plastic surgeon and one of the instructors of the CU Medi program. I will be your host today. During this session, we will introduce you to the International Medical Program at Chulalongkorn University Hospital, or CU Medi. We are a unique and alternative pathway to become a global doctor fits for the 21st century. During this session, you will learn the overview of the program and our readiness to bring you to your journey to become a cutting-edge doctor from our senior faculties and world-renowned international faculties. For those of you who are interested in this program, the application process will begin in February 2023. You can check the update via the website, which have a QR code on the screen right now. If you have any questions during this session, you can click on the link on our Facebook Live comment to access a Google form and enter your email as well as questions. We may not have enough time to get to all of your questions today. What we will make sure to answer as many as we can as the time allowed. Without further delay, it is my honor to introduce our guests of the session. I will start with Associate Professor Dr. Chan Chai Sitipan, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, Chulalongkorn University. He is a prominent chest medicine doctor. He dedicates himself to advanced medical education in this country and has made every effort to push this program forward. He will introduce us on the vision and rationale of this international medical program. Thank you, Kappa Chan Seri. Hello, everyone, and happy Chinese New Year. I'm Associate Professor Chan Sha Sidipan. I would like to welcome you to the open house of the CU Medi program. First of all, I will introduce you some details about our university. Chulalongkorn University, or nicknamed Chula, is the first university in Thailand. Throughout the years, for over a century, the university has established faculties um, and also numerous research uh, centers and institutes. For the Faculty of Medicine in Chulalongkorn University, we established in 1947, is a prestigious faculty that offers a range of undergraduate and postgraduate programs, including an international medical program. The International Medical Program, also known as CU Medi, is a program that allows international and Thai graduates to study medicine. It is a four-year program that includes both preclinical and clinical training in Thailand and abroad. Upon completion, students receive a medical degree from Chuarongkorn University. The program is designed to provide high-quality medical education to students from around the world and prepare them for careers as medical professionals. The developed program 
is the first graduate international medical program in Thailand. Our strategy is to become a global medical institute, which will have collaboration from all over the world. Our faculty has a good reputation, good staff, and a good environment, which are all the foundation for our program. The program also encourages lifelong learning for our students in the program. This will prepare the students for becoming a 21st century doctor, where constant medical and technological updates occur. Also, our program welcomes graduates from all kinds of fields. This will create a unique learning environment for the students, which leads to one of the kind doctor in the future. The students in this program will have an international clinical experiences, which is essential for becoming a doctor in the near future. Our collaboration between other institutions from different countries will support the students to enhance their leading experiences. So, as a dean of this faculty, I would be more than happy to welcome you to join our program. I hope that this open house event will give you the insights of what we have to offer. With this, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kapatan Sanchai, for a clear vision and wonderful introduction of our program. Next, please welcome Professor Dr. Nietzsche C. Chana Long Suwanwela. She is the director of the international program. She will talk about the precursive phase of the curriculum, which is the foundation and the most important steps to ensure a bright future for our medical students. Thank you very much. So I just to add, want to add a little bit more that uh, what our dean just said. Just want to let you just know more, getting to know more about CU Medi program, which is the first international medical program uh, graduate entry in Thailand. So CU Medi actually stands for Chulalongkorn University International Medical Program, and uh, as you know, it's an international graduate entry and requires a four-year study time. So for CU Medi, uh, we accept students who graduated from any field, any kind of field that you have graduated, you can enter CU Medi. And our goal is to produce a professional doctor who can work globally or locally, and they should be equipped with the 21st century skill and leadership quality. They can choose whatever kind of doctors they want to be. They can be a, a healthcare leader or a physician engineer, scientist, physician, academic physicians, or any other things that they, they would like. So this is our outcome, uh, the outcome of the CU Medi program. And we want our students to achieve these 12 outcomes. Uh, they should have the hands that heal, the head that is smart, and the heart that cares. So meaning that they should be equipped with doctor's task, uh, giving correct diagnosis, uh, choose the right investigation management, uh, can do uh, procedural skills uh, professional, professionally, and uh, they should have quality of medical uh, to be, become a professional doctor. Uh, more importantly, which is more specific to this program, is to be a global doctor with multi-talented uh, quality and also 21st century skills. And they should be the leader of change. So our curriculum has gone through many uh, kind of uh, accreditation. So we were accredited by the IMIAC, which is uh, in compliance with the WFME standard. Uh, it was approved by the General Grand University Council and also the Thai Medical Council. So next, I just want to share with you why CU Medi is going to be the right choice for you if you want to become a doctor. So we would provide four experiences, four types of skill. CU Medi is for good and also it's going to be for fun. For the experience that we are going to provide to all of you if you come and join us, these ex experience will take place in different places. First is going to be at uh, the pre clerkship phase, which is going to take place at uh, the Faculty of Medicine, Jolongkorn University. And then you gain experience from the uh, cutting edge medical uh, institution, which is the King Jolongkorn Memorial Hospital. Then uh, our students will gain more clinical experience at our affiliated hospital at Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital in Chonburi Province. And then we'll have experience on international uh, uh, health care in our affiliation abroad. 
So see you many, as mentioned by the dean, that this is part of our uh, medical program provided by Faculty of Medicine, Jolongkorn University. And uh, we have a regular program where many more students are studying. And this is our Faculty of Medicine, which is already 75 years old. And also it is part of the Red Cross Society. The Faculty of Medicine is working closely with the King Jolongkorn Memorial Hospital and is located at the heart of Bangkok. You can see in this picture that all the buildings, uh, the high rises over there are, uh, they belong to the Faculty of Medicine and King Jolongkorn Memorial Hospital. We are very close, just right next to the uh, Lumpini Park, which is the biggest part of Bangkok. And we have SkyTrain just right at the corner. And this is the King Jolongkorn Memorial Hospital, which is a uh, uh, state-of-the-art hospital in Bangkok. It's a big tertiary care that provides uh, patient care. Another affiliated hospital is uh, Queen Suwang Watana Memorial Hospital, uh, where our students will do their clinical rotation over there in their second and uh, third and fourth year. So this is uh, around one and a half hours from Bangkok, and Ajahn Rung Sak will mention more about that. But uh, as you can see in this picture, it's very close to the sea, seaside and very nice view and very nice facility. And these are some facilities at the Queen Suwang Watana Memorial Hospital. They have a very nice medical education center. And more importantly, they provide uh, the type of patients that are suitable for learning for our medical student. And the teachers and, and student ratio is very good. We have a good uh, ratio so they can, uh, the teacher or the instructor can take care of our students very closely. We also uh, will send our students to the abroad to the international affiliated hospitals uh, in, in the UK and in the US. They'll have eight week rotation as a clinical rotation abroad. And these are some of the affiliated hospitals that we have connection with. We are also honored to have our international advisory board from mainly from the US and they're helping us shaping the curriculum and helping our students. Uh, just want to mention Professor TJ uh, on the most bottom part, he's uh, the most resourceful person and has been helping us for uh, uh, quite a while. And he's here with us today as well. So CU Medi will provide four experiences in different places. And also there are skills that we would provide for our students. So the skills would be the uh, skills about basic science, clinical science, taking care of patients, humanistic medicine, which is also very important to become a doctor in the 21st century, and also a skill of doing research. So in our CU Medi program, we we'll have classes for a clinical experience starting from the first month of the learning. So students can come and learn about real patient and they can work back to the basic knowledge. So they'll be seeing patients in the clinic, in the operating room and in different places. They'll be observing in the ER outpatient, inpatient clinic as well. And these are some of the, of the activities that has been uh, going on for our students and this, you can see that this is in the uh, operating room. We also provide basic clinical competency uh, and clinical skill classes. So students will have a chance to do hands-on uh, activities. They would do physical exam to, on the simulated patients or the uh, mannequin. They will do some procedures starting off from the first month of the study time. And we have this uh, CHAMP Center, which provides uh, the learning environment for the students. We also emphasize on humanistic medicine, which is very important, as I mentioned earlier. Not just uh, doing the skills and being a doctor, you have to have empathy to the, to the patients and you have to learn how to be professional as well. For research part, our students will have a chance to do a lot of research starting from the first semester. We have the course called Spatial Project in Biomedical Research, where students can choose to do any kind of research, maybe basic science or maybe clinical research or any translational research. They can also do any innovation that they want. And the fi at the final year, the fourth year, they will have another 16-week rotation 
as a student selected components and they can pursue their research project or they can do anything that they want in relationship to medicine. CU Medi is also for good. As mentioned earlier that we, our Faculty of Medicine and Jolangkorn University has been uh, established for a long time. Jolangkorn University is the first university of Thailand and it's, it's more than 100 years old already. And uh, this is a picture of the university and the university emblem that may be familiar to you. Also, we provide some cultural activities like a white coat ceremony uh, from the first month of CU Medi program. Uh, the last part is CU Medi is for fun. Of course, not just learning. And we're trying to make learning fun as well at the same time. So our students will be provided with some questions, some clinical case scenarios, and they have to work on that case scenario. It's just like solving a mystery. So this is, uh, I think it's fun to solve patient problem and work back to the basic science. Not only for the classes, we have other activities. This is uh, the Julang Grand University activities. Uh, students can join any club that they want. They can uh, go to the football club or football team. They can join any musical uh, like orchestra as well. And these are some facilities that we have at uh, our Faculty of Medicine and also some more facilities over at the Queen Suwang Watana Memorial Hospital. So not only studying, they can enjoy their life as well. So, and this is one of the activities that we had at our, um, with our team, core team and the CU Media students at uh, Petbury province where we had our clinical experience there. So yeah, for now, I've. Uh, share, with, share with you about our CU Medi program and hope that you think this is interesting and want to join us uh, to become part of our program. So we are looking for uh, 40 students for the next year to come. So if you have already graduated your bachelor's degree in any field, we don't have any age limit criteria. And if you think that your English language is proficient and also uh, you have knowledge in medical uh, as you have to take the MCAT exam. And more importantly, you need to be passionate in medicine. You have to have full commitment. This is not a part-time job. It's a full-time learning time. So you need to be very committed to the program. And you feel like you are an adult learner. You want to have a lot of self-studying. You want to work with your friends and the uh, instructors you might be the one who want to join our CU Medi program. So uh, we uh, just opened up our admission time for the next, for the third class of C our CU Medi students. So usually it starts um, in February and uh, it changes every year, the, the exact date. But for this year, application will start on the 1st of February until the uh, 27th of February and the, we will have the interview on the 4th of April. So if you already prepared, already got your MCAT score, you can just apply for uh, to us starting in on the 1st of February. So these are the admission criteria. So of course you have to finish your bachelor's degree, any field that would be okay. Uh, you need to take either TOEFL or IELTS to make sure you're, you're, that your English is, is sufficient. And uh, you have to take, of course, the MCAT test, which is a, um, uh, the co medical college uh, test for the US uh, medical schools. And then you have to send us your CV, your statement of purpose. We need to letter of recommendations. And then uh, you can send us a transcript and we will yeah, uh, look at those uh, items and ask you to come for the interview later on. And these are uh, some of our CU Medi core team. Of course, it's part of the Faculty of Medicine. So we have the whole Faculty of Medicine supporting us. And this is some part of it, uh, of the, the team. And this is our CU Medi core team who are, have been working very hard with this program. And uh, for that, if you have any further questions, we are happy to answer your questions later on. And also you can contact us by this email or um, just yeah, contact our office. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Kavatan Nitesi, for the wonderful talk and introduction to our program. Now, after the students finish their pre clerkship phase, students will gain their clerkship phase both at King Chulalongkorn Memorial Hospital and Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce Associate Professor Dr. Reung Sak Le Katon Suk, the D Deputy Director of Queen Suang Watana Memorial Hospital, where our students will gain most of their clinical experiences. Thank you. Thank you, Ajahn Se Lee. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to present about the life in clinical years of a uh, CU Medi student. The uh, clinical setting of CU Medi student, student will uh, learning in the Queen Sawang Matana Memorial Hospital or uh, Rong Pei Ban Somdet Parom Lachroni Nasi Racha in Thai. This hospital is located in uh, Silacha District, Chonburi Province, about one and a half hour drive from uh, Bangkok and about one hour drive from Suwanapum Airport. It's very close to the uh, Eastern Economic Corridor and very, uh, very uh, beautiful city. And uh, Queen Song Watana Memorial Hospital at King Chula Longkorn Memorial Hospital are under the same umbrella of uh, uh, Red Cross Society. So they are working seamlessly and they have uh, many collaboration like uh, academic research and medical service. So we believe that uh, our students will have the very uh, efficient uh, teaching and learning there. The the new building that we just opened uh, last year is uh, the 150th anniversary of Her Majesty Queen Sisawintra Medical Center. This is a 26th floor uh, medical center which uh, have comprehensive uh, outpatient and inpatient service in one building. So the the working of a medical floor is very, very fluent and uh, and I believe that a medical student will uh, have the uh, very uh, well equipped medical uh, equipment here and you can see the uh, spaces of the patient area and also the, the medical service area. Of course, uh, we provide the area for uh, medical teaching here as well. Close to the uh, medical service center, uh, about 50 meters, we, can, we have a medical education center which is close to uh, the seaside. The medical education center, we have a, a very uh, big lecture hall and also the, a small room for uh, small group teaching. And another simulation center at the upper floor, so uh, medical students can practice the simulation uh, situation before they encounter the, the real situation with patients. So uh, this building will take place when uh, students will have a, a learning period here and when they work, they work in the uh, uh, the new building and uh, you can see the view from our uh, lecture room after the long uh, learning period students can have a, a very beautiful view in, in this building. For the dormitory, uh, the Waitayani Wet dormitory which uh, have a very uh, well equipped facility. We have uh, the convenience store uh, in the ground floor and uh, you can see the uh, uh, the twin best room, uh, which equipped with air, co air condition and uh, uh, water heater. Uh, also the recreation area and uh, uh, the place for a uh, common room for medical students to have some self-study uh, apart from the learning period. The clerkship will start from the uh, fourth semester. It takes about one year. Uh, that means semester four and five is the clerkship period, which contain the major clinical discipline uh, like uh, OBGYN, uh, pediatrics, medicine, and uh, surgery, which will take place in uh, Queen Suwang Watana Memorial Hospital. And also the integrate rotation, which will take place in King Charles Longkorn Memorial Hospital. After they spend one year of clerkship, uh, the student will go through the uh, externship with uh, starting from the semester six to eight is take one and a half year. Uh, in the externship, student will act as a real doctor with the medical team. They got the clinical rotation in the uh, every ward, uh, like a uh, clerkship, but uh, they work like a real doctor. Uh, most of them occur in uh, Queen Sawa Matana Memorial Hospital. And also the enrichment period is take around six uh, months for students to uh, search for their interesting uh, and maybe abroad. So uh, this is the, the uh, freely elective uh, uh, for this program only. 
we just finished the uh, first ro ro rotation of uh, civil medicine student in the first group last uh, two weeks. And this is a picture of our, uh, our student. The, this is at the ward work for uh, medicine wards. They working as a team. Uh, the uh, treatment team consists of a senior doctor and residents and also extern. And our civil medicine student will be the youngest of the team. Uh, the first day of uh, rotation begin from the 6th December last year. You can see how eager for them to uh, join the, the work here and also uh, they look very happy. They take a picture with uh, our director of uh, hospital and also they pay respect to uh, Queen Cesar Wintra, uh, for who is the, the founder of uh, our hospital. In our patient clinic, they can have a, a history tracking and a physical examination and observe the staff, the teaching staff for uh, take care of the patient and also uh, have a patient education in the outpatient segment as well. In orthopedics ward, uh, apart from attend in the clinical ward and uh, the operative room, they can practice the uh, the uh, basic uh, medical skill like uh, the sprint and also uh, study some landmark of the orthopedics in the workshop. For surgery, uh, they can practice the base basic uh, medical skill like uh, suturing in the mannequin and, and they also practiced in the real patient in the emergency room. We cannot have a photo in the emergency room because of the patient confidentiality. Uh, apart from the, the clinical rotation, they also have simulation workshop like uh, when they puncture or the basic life support in our simulation uh, hall in the medical education center as well. After the, the learning period, they have the cell directed learning period in uh, mostly they uh, have the SDL in a common room for, in the dormitory. Uh, you can see the in the middle of the picture, they. Last year, they can have uh, SDL along with the uh, uh, FIFA world. So, so they, they can attend uh, either uh, entertainment and, and self-directed learning at the same time. They also have some uh, live after work because of uh, Queen Swan Watana Memorial Hospital have many green area. They can have some picnic and also uh, the party here. I would like to present this short message from uh, our CU Medi student at the first rotation. My one and a half month here has been an unforgettable experience. The hospital is well equipped and the professors are so supportive inside and outside of the class. I couldn't express how lucky I am that they dedicated the time to prepare for our lessons. They welcomed us like family and took us in. We are more than lucky to be here and we look forward to coming back soon. And, and this is a thank you card that they sent to uh, our instructor about the impression for the instructor and the en environment here, appreciation about the, the uh, teaching process. And we are looking forward to see you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kapitan Reung Sak, for the wonderful overview of the hospital. I'm sure the student will gain a lot of experience from the hospital and Honestly, hopefully they have some time to enjoy the view at the beach. It's really breathtaking. For the next part, I'm honored to introduce Professor Dr. Tanakon Tirase Wijinda, or what I know, Ajahn TJ, our program coordinator. He's a pediatrician at Cornell. With expertise in medical education, he will tell us about strength of a program and what this program has to offer, he will join us, we assume. Celebrate. And secondly, I wanted to really congratulate the team, the team of educators and administrators who put together a wonderful program, CU Medi, and um, the program which has really going on to its third successful year. And I think congratulations are really in order for all the hard work that um, the team has done. Um, I think I wanted to limit my message to two big areas. The first area is really to as an endorsement. Um, and the endorsement is based on my 
um, from December 2021 to May of 2022, I was privileged to um, serve as a curricular consultant as part of my Fulbright um, Faculty Scholars Program. Um, for six months, I had the uh, pleasure and privilege of working and collaborating with the, um, the team members at CU Medi. I was really impressed by so many things. One is really the dedication to education and professional development, as well as the personal growth of all the students. Um, they have also put together a very thoughtful, engaging, interactive curriculum that in many ways foster independent learning, lifelong learning, and really collaborative in educational um, experience and environment. They really have a, a huge emphasis on the um, humanistic quality, of human, humanistic aspect of the practice of medicine. Um, as students, you get a lot of individualized attention from the faculty and from each other, right? Learning in a group. And lastly, the uniqueness of this is when students um, who are graduate entry um, level students, after studying and finishing with a undergraduate or bac baccalaureate degree in any field, right? Students come in with really diverse experience diverse skills and perspectives and really, you know, being impressed with the engineers who have done um, team project, team-based projects, et cetera, or from students from the arts who are really creative and visual thinkers and putting everybody in that really collaborative environment is very unique and a wonderful group learning experience for everybody. So other than the endorsement, I wanted to just add that, you know, um, another unique aspect is the international um, clinical experience, right? Um, if we all can imagine, medicine is a team base, um, is a team sport. Um, the practice of medicine is not just one doctor doing um, so many different tasks, but really how does a doctor function in a very interdisciplinary um, environment, right? Collaborating with nursing staff, collaborating with radiologists, um, the surgeons, different specialties, um, you know, respiratory therapists and so many others that I have not even mentioned. So I think, you know, having that kind of requirement to work in a team setting um, requires a lot of experience doing that. And I think secondly, um, Ajahn Nitesi showed the slide about the different um, competencies or the outcomes of the training. So by the time you finish um, as a graduate, you will have had acquired, demonstrated, and mastered some of these competencies. And so with those two background in mind, I think the international clinical experience really is a wonderful way to apply some of these competencies and skills that people have learned, right? So going overseas does not, is not limited to learning about the medicine, the knowledge and the application of knowledge. But it's really thinking about working in a diverse environment, in a group setting, right? Learning about the systems of practice, um, the healthcare systems of different countries. Learning about how to work in a group setting. Learning about how to communicate with different diverse members of the team. How do you work together towards a common goal, a patient, um, you know, quality, the, 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 the optimal outcome for the patients? and really to make connections, to make connections of, you know, um, other trainees overseas, faculty overseas, and really using them as resources and um, thinking about how that can enrich you as an individual, as a professional, as a provider, and or as leader um, in the future. And I think that, you know, in many ways, not only um, enrich you and help you foster and develop your competency, and your personal and professional identity, but really um, that connection hopefully will help you open doors for you to your um, future, whether it's residency application and or future career practice as well. So I wanted to say again, congratulations. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this. I am excited to continue working with this wonderful program and looking forward to seeing more people join. Thank you. Thank you, Karpatan TJ, for your endorsement and nice word. 
Ajahn Teacher is really one of the key person for our curriculum, so he knows it very well. Now, let's take a sneak peek at our program from the student's perspective. Here, I have a short video clip to see how it is like to study in this program. The video clip is by our student. will show the atmosphere and facilities while they're working and doing their clinical years at Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital. Yo, yo, yo. So we're approaching uh, the, the Queen Sawang Hospital right now. Yeah, yeah. So on the car we have Indy driving. Hello. hello. We have Nick. Hello. Hello. Hi. Nick, hello. Non. Hi. And point right here. Hi. Okay. So this is the area around the hospital with all the food. This is the uh, Marina Bay. Amazing food over here. Mm. Good time over here. Very nice. Very nice. What we absolutely love about this dorm is just how near the dorm is to the hospital. I mean, they're literally three-minute walk apart. So I'll show you right now just how close the two buildings really are. Let's take a look. So, so we the boys. Okay. You see, it's only a meters away from the actual hospital. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The total walk itself is around 30 seconds to a minute walk. Okay, so okay. And Very the 7-Eleven right here. Open until 10 p.m. at night. Very convenient. If you want some snacks or some coffee in the morning, go ahead and grab one. And And what, what do you what do you think about the the room here that they have for us? The room here is honestly surprisingly clean. Yes. Like I I did not expect to have my, uh, my room being this nice and clean. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. And we'll we'll see in a second. Oh, also there's a rehab center over here. Okay. Uh, more of a massage place. Where, okay. You know, you get off office syndrome, or you get tightness from studying all day. You can go ahead and. Come here for a bit. You know? Right on. So now we're at the third floor on the A side, which is you know the side for seeing many people. Mm -hmm. And it has a total of around eight or nine rooms, I don't remember. But basically, you know, all each of the different rooms is two students each room. Mm. And we all have roommates. And you know uh, one thing that's nice about this room is that it has an access to a laundry. Mm. Service. So I'll show you over here in front of our room. Here is uh, our bedroom, my room and Joel's room. These are our beds. That's the balcony area, and this is the desk that we normally work on. Mm -hmm. Only for a little messiness. Mm -hmm. so we're moving out. We're moving out to July tonight. Yes, sir. Mm. And these are our closets. This is a usual closet. Okay. And uh, what about laundry? How do we do laundry here? So interestingly, we have an access to uh, the laundry service. So we put our, our clothes, our used clothes out here, and the um, the service person can access it from the outside without okay. you know, having to unlock the door. Mm -hmm. And all we do is we have to line the person, mm -hmm. right? Take, give her give her a line message, and she will come and get it. Uh, give her two to three days, and she'll be back with uh, the fresh. Uh, really nice clothes for you. So convenient. Mm -hmm. Only takes around two to three days. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Where to next? Well, almost forgot. So this is our bathroom, right? Hello. So here's the sink. Here's the toilet. And here's the shower room. Very nice and spacious shower room. Indeed, indeed. Alright. <laughs> And coming up to the 14th floor, I'm going to show you what we have here, the fitness room, which is probably my favorite place in this store. Uh, it has got everything you got here. Now, we've got our buddies doing the waist. We've got the treadmills, we've got the dumbbells, we've got the, the bar for you to do your pull-up. And the best part about this fitness room is the very view. I mean, there's nowhere else we're going to get this kind of view in this area. This is the best you can find in this hospital. Take a look at that. Beautiful. So I'm very excited to uh, to invite all of you to come join us in uh, Queen Sabang Hospital. Uh, I wasn't sure about this place at first, but after having been here for a month, I can tell you right now that I absolutely love this place. Thank you very much, guys. Woo!